Right then, which brand's better? Be quiet, the thermal red. Let's get directly into the overall differences of both coolers, then we'll get straight into the benchmarks. So, so the benchmarks. Now, yes, be quiet. Yeah, it reached, it did reach 90 Celsius, which is the thermal throttling limit to the 5900X. But something you've got to realise that this cooler isn't exactly designed for 100 watts and above. It's designed for something like a 65 watt CPU. So, obviously, the thermal right there cooler is designed better. But then, of course, it, it has got 140 4 watt TDP. Now of course this one by here of course is just fins. It does have a it does look like it's got a heat pipe inside and then it's just got a copper plate. Now of course that is just minimal it's just basic designed but of course it's good quality as be quite is known for. Now of course the one from Thermal Right of course it's bigger, it's thicker, bigger uh, base by here for the CPU. It's got big heat pipes and of course the fin density as well as the fin stack itself is bigger. Overall bigger and of course this one's going to perform better. Now I did this because I asked you guys what you wanted to see next. You chose Thermorite versus Be Quiet. Now I have had two other air coolers from Be Quiet. Now I have got a... Uh, the Dark Rock Pro Pro, uh, Dark Rock Pro 4. I asked them for another one because the one I had is all scuffed up. And at the end of the day, I want you guys to have a, at least have them look nice. So, yeah, I mean, look, either one will do. But if you've got a 65 watt TDP CPU, then both of them will be fine. But if you've got anything above, like a 5800X or a 5900X or even... <laughs> A 5800X 3D, then the Be Quiet cooler isn't for you. The Thermal Right Air cooler, of course, can handle the 60 other uh, 60 5900X, but of course, you know, it's a low profile air cooler, it's meant for small, very small form factor builds, but you know, that's just one of them things. And of course, both of them have their goods, their good points, and their bad points. One, the thermal right cooler is a lot louder and then of course be quiet they're known for the silence that one is a lot lot quieter and of course with be quiet they are known for their quality as well as performance and thermal right are are coming up in the market they're very popular right now especially the, like the pls assassin and the aios and such if you guys want to see the pls assassin versus the 
uh, cool about you from Joy, Sh Joy Shark, then please hit me a like and a comment down below. And I will make that video happen for you. But in the end of this, Thermorite won. But of course, the Be Quiet one is designed for a lot lower wattage CPUs. So, yeah. Now, I have got the Be Quiet monitor coming soon. Not Be Quiet, sorry. BenQ gaming monitor review coming soon. Sorry about the ice cream van. I can't uh, control what's outside. Yeah, as you can see, it's rather warm at the moment in uh, the UK. It, uh, in Wales, particularly, it's 26 Celsius. And at the moment, I'm melting, filming this for you guys. But I promise I do it and I delivered. So yeah, either one is good if you've got a 65 watt CPU. But if you've got a bit more like a 100 watt CPU, the thermal right one's a lot better. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And as always, this is Richard Welsh. Good bye.